Republican Senator Bob Corker, Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee with me now. And Senator, welcome back and good morning to you. It's going to be a big day and a big night here. Thank you for your time. Yeah, Bill, it is going to be a yeah. big day. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and, you you um, bet. Take us behind yeah. the curtain. Okay. Well, where are things now? What, what should we understand about negotiations between your Democratic colleagues and Republicans? Well, what's happened, Bill, in order to keep 30 people from trying to negotiate a deal, John Cornyn and Dick Durbin have been assigned to synthesize all the things that uh, people are bringing forth. I sat in on a meeting last night with, I don't know, about 20 legislators on both sides of the aisle, and my sense is people are starting with the lowest common denominator. Uh, could we at least deal with DACA and security uh, as a baseline, and then expand out to, to deal with some of the other issues? Uh, as you know, Mitch McConnell is going to put a bill on the floor and it's going to be amendable and and I think that you know probably the best way to start again would be that with that lowest common denominator and then see what can pass uh, from that point on well, but I do the, think the, the what's what, what's the lowest common denominator then just to de define that first so it'd be dealing with the DACA plus all of the border security. So, so that's chain migration, that's visa yeah. lottery, that's border yeah. security, that's funding for the wall, and it's the 1.8 million dreamers, right? That, that's your baseline. Actually, uh, yeah, the baseline is even narrower. I think the president has put out a, a very good proposal, okay? And I think that, uh, you know, dealing with chain migration is something that is very, very important for us to do or we end up back in this situation. The question is, what is it that we can get 60 votes on? So again, uh, what I've heard is a huge move on the, on the left and willingness to accept $25 billion worth of border security, which is a significant move from where they have been. And I say on the left, it's actually the more moderate members of the Democratic caucus. And then, and then obviously a willingness on the Republican side to deal with the DACA recipients in a way that is appropriate. And then can you build out from there, Bill, to make it even more comprehensive than that? But I've, I see good progress. Uh, it's and a I big think lift. Got, huh? yeah. You think you get what? How many votes? No, I stepped on your last line. You think you will get what? You were going to a point there. Well, I think, again, I think the lowest common denominator is $25 billion in security, uh, which I think the more moderate members of the Democratic caucus are willing to accept. And then dealing specifically with the DACA uh, population. Then building out from there so that we can hopefully deal with chain migration, uh, deal with the diversity lottery, all of those things would be enhancements uh, that to me would make the bill far, far better. But the question is, what can we get 60 votes on? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Here's the tweet yeah. from the president on screen. I've offered DACA a wonderful deal, including a doubling in the number of recipients and a 12-year pathway to citizenship for two reasons, because the Republicans want to fix a long-time terrible problem. to show that Democrats do not want to solve DACA only use it. Yeah. Do they want to get the yes or not? So it's interesting. I think the, uh, there was a great article this morning, Bill, in one of the publications. I think those people that are running for president in 2020, uh, those people would like to have this as an issue. Those people are running for re-election in 2018. They want to solve this issue. And so I think what you've got is a split in the Democratic caucus. And my guess is those who want to get something done are going to be the ones that are going to be successful in this effort. So wow. uh, that, that's, that's yeah. wow. That's yeah. Washington for you, huh? A place yeah, you're I, leaving in 10 months. Senator, thank yeah. you for your time. Thank you so much. I hope I you hope come back. resolve this. Thank, as, you. thank you, sir. I hope you come back as well. Enjoy the evening. Bob Corker. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Sandra.